Hi there. My name is Ayomidi and I'm a member of Cars Designers. So yesterday I'm going to be teaching you how to create cars or in Figma. As you can see on the screen, you could swipe and you could scroll, you could drag it, right? So cars will give you a, a, a feature, it's actually a feature, whereby you could see more than one image at a time rather than just kind of like scrolling up and down or yet on this you could just easily scroll through and you have what you're actually looking for so it's quite not so hard it's quite very simple you could use it on your web UI and also on your website and also on a mobile app is actually very very awesome to use and it makes your design even look much more professional all right so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do something like this and you can also replicate it on your mobile app project that you're going to be doing in subsequent time or that you're actually currently working on so stay tuned yes you're welcome back so quickly let's try to take out this away so that we could go back so how i did this background is actually quite simple we've had tutorials to show how we came about this so i picked this um image right here from unsplash and unsplash is actually a plugin on figma so let's just make so you can just um start outside all right so that you not disturb or you not affect anything on your frame on the frame you're actually working with so let's just come out and you pick a frame outside all right just pick a frame so let's just use come to here to the social media pick this all right so you could just and you could decide to still use a rectangle anyone that suits you anyone that actually suits you so anyone so and here we have this so you can just duplicate this you duplicate as much as you want so this is one two three four so let's pick one more five so yes let's work with this five all right so you select all let's select all so before selecting all right so quickly let's fill in all of this frame that we have here with images with images so quickly after selecting this frame just go to plugin and you click on on splash so let's wait for it to load so and for this tutorial so let's just stick with business so because of we predicted so you can just select any image that you like all right so let's pick this just click on it and it will load and fill in as you could see at the background this frame here that's instagram post 13 actually as an image you select another and you could pick this done you could see now so let's go to the other the third frame and let's fill in so with another image so you could pick this just pick as anyone that you love all right and then this last one let's use um i think i like this or oh, this oh uh, let's just go with this guy with suit let's go with this guy with suit yes and we are done so now we could now select all of this so now what we're just going to do is we're just going to you can group them so let's group them 
All right. So you group them. That's control G. That's what I did. Control G. And so we just scale this down. Scale this down. Reduce it so that when we put it into the frame, we're actually using to work with on our project. It will still be better. So yes, so you could see now that it's actually in here, but then we still need to scale it because it's obstructing this find your perfect place so let's just scale it again scale it so yes we are making progress so the next thing you need to do here is create a frame, frame selection, frame selection. So the next thing for you to allow this, if you just suddenly come here, let's just say we just go back, if you just go to prototype and you come here, you see it gives you this error message. So what this error message is I'm trying to, try to tell you about is you cannot, um, this frame the the images inside all right they are more they are of the same size with this frame so all you just simply need to do is click on this frame go back to design all right and let's change back to move so you pick this and you drag it inside to any position you want to stop to so you could leave there and here so and you can decide to add auto layout to it you can decide to add auto layout it's all your choice so you see that we still have to do some little work again by what reducing it inside the game and here to again all right so you can see that it still shows that there are still some um of the element within the frame outside so you allow it to clip to what to contest you click here and you see now so it gives you a view that there are some there's still a leftover that is beside so this gives the user a an a, a little information to show that there is there are some content that you can still see more so the the user is actually tempted to check for more all right so and that's actually what we're actually trying to do so here we can now come back to prototype you could see now that automatically the error message has disappeared so it means we are good to go we are good to go you see just change the to what the horizontal scroll assuming we are working with a vertical axis now that let's say we want it to be just scrolling up and all of those things we could have used what vertical scrolling but whereas we are not dealing with that we are just working with the horizontal so that's why we are using horizontal scrolling so and then we come here so you click on this you come to this um prototype and you had it as what a flow point let it start from here so you click here so let's have a view of what we're working with so here it is now so you could see so let's try you see wow wow see how simple it is so you can add as much content you want as much Let's say you want to add up to 10, up to 20, so long as you still follow the same procedure and process. 
you will still get you know you will still arrive at the same points that we are so we are sure that you actually like this video so if there's any question you have you could drop it in the comment section and we'll answer you as as early as possible all right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial ensure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos and if there's any video or anything you need us to do we are right here for you thank you bye